Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. Uh, it is summer, still summer. Yes, well, probably summer is not yet started, but it's hot. And uh, we want to make another summer dish this week. So we, we thought, C and I, that uh, peperonata, which is a classical Italian uh, summer dish, is the perfect recipe for this episode. It is quite uh, simple to uh, prepare, but it's actually delicious. And it's even better cold. We need peppers, so two bell peppers. I got a red one and a yellow one. We need a cup of onions, garlic, black pepper, olive oil, of course, and good passata, salt to season, and I think that what we need, not onions. First thing that I do is to chop the onions. And now it's time for the peppers. I'll do this way. I'm removing the seeds from here. Uh, I want to cut them like fine as well. So everything's sliced and uh, ready to be prepared. And now we can pour the olive oil in a large uh, shallow pan. Okay, I'll turn the heat on and uh, we need to start with a uh, high heat. So I'm going to put the onions. And about the olive oil, I added uh, a bit more olive oil because I like it quite uh, a bit oily because uh, it is great for the scarpetta as we say in the last episode which is the little shoot that we do with bread. So don't forget this thing, scarpetta. The onions are getting soft and uh, golden, what we want. So I'm going to add uh, the peppers. I'm still on a uh, high heat. So we cook them and keep them for about 10 minutes. While the peppers were cooking, they had developed a wonderful uh, aroma and also flavor. And now they're ready for the next step. We go to add the passata. Ready? So we have very good passata. Okay. So, this okay. And I'm going to amalgamate everything here. So, the tomato pasta is now well amalgamated with the pepper and the onions. I'm going to turn the heat down. And I'm going to put some sauce, start seasoning. Okay. And ground pepper, so black pepper. And this is my little uh, chick, family chick. You didn't see the garlic when I fried the onions. I like to add garlic um, this way. And so it adds a more garlicky flavor to the um, to the peperonata. Like I'm going to make the garlic into the peppers. Now, as you see, this passato is quite uh, concentrated, so I'm going to add. Uh, a little bit of water. Yes, yes. I have to pass the water. 
and I'm going to move on an even lower heat. So let's change position. I'm going to put a little top and we cook it for around 20 minutes. Keep an eye, if it gets too dry, add more water. That is nearly ready, it's actually ready. And I'm going to add a bit more salt to that, test it so more seasoning. But sometimes in case it is too uh, liquid, you remove the lid and uh, cook it for another couple of minutes until the water evaporates, the liquid evaporates. So this is the consistency that you want. Wonderful, I think it's ready, okay, thank you. Heat off and we can serve it. There are many ways to serve the pepperonata. The first thing is in its own right. You got this beautiful uh, pepperoni with olive oil and tomato sauce and uh, uh, with a slice of bread, uh, make a perfect uh, light lunch. Then we can have it as a contorno, and in my view, it would go very well with chicken. But you can use it uh, as an antipasto, so like a bruschetta. So it's been very, very hot, over 30 degrees, so... And it's now gone cloudy, so that really mm. do hope we do get a bit of rain. I have my doubts, however, but we should really just dive in the pool. However, I'm going to have my little try of the pepperonata. And I'm a vegetable freak, so I really, really love vegetables. My well. preference is always vegetables. What do you think? It's delicious. It's very, very summery. Um, oh, the bells from the village church. And thunder. And a bee buzzing. It's a perfect supper dish for me. If you wanted to make it a bit more filling, you could have some nice bread with it, but for me, this is just perfect. Of course, you can uh, have this hot or cold, but I really like it cold because uh, it's perfect on a hot day. Oh, those are the bells down the valley. Another village. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the times don't quite agree. Mm, they need to sing the clocks. <laughs> but I, don't, I think it's wrong because if you sing the clocks, you got got... Uh, a confusion of bells. Everyone two different bells, two different concerts. Uh, or perhaps they're in different time zones. <laughs> so we're from the museum and tomorrow there's going to be no on Sunday. Uh, a comunione. Well, we've, um, we've just been and bought some prosciutto and cheese for some sandwiches and um, I just wanted to show you and I'm afraid the flowers have gone but these are actually capers and you can see the capers for me so they're just growing in the side of the church and look at the capers these are the capers for me and this is their flower bud Thank you. Oh, in the, the restaurant, they can pick them up and uh, <laughs> preserve them.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need a Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much. Buona serata.